And then... We got to stand with Rosaline. And we get to see what exactly... This was all building to. I thought this might be a good view. Good enough to cut off the traffic, eh? Sure. Even if they were real. Well, this is it. All we work for. Ready to initiate it? I'm not gonna dick him around anymore. I'm not gonna make the old man wait a single second longer. Come up here. Uh, why? Why not? You're just gonna push me off the ledge again, aren't you? Probably. But the view is worth the odds. Take my hand, Neil. Come on. This is Mission Control. We are t uh, text. Er, sorry, we are messaging uh, Platypus One. Platypus One, are you in contact with us? Boop. This is Platypus One. We are ready for takeoff. Boop. He gets to sit. He gets to sit next to River. Isn't that sweet? Ooh, that's some pixel art right there. Is he gonna make it though? Oh no. Shit. Shit. Because one day, I'm going to befriend one of them. All systems are green. You are cleared for takeoff, Platypus One. Lift off! And there they go. They did it. Look out, seagulls! Get the fuck out of the way! We've got dreams to fulfill here! Come on! How symbolic. All the scientists sent him and River off in a grand finale. Aww. <laughs> Don't touch me, Neil. Leave this world behind and go and see what's on the other side of the moon. There's Anya the Lighthouse. There's where they got married. In another time, another place, in another reality. With Joey and all the family there with them. Them in the big house. The lighthouse. River's still alive. And they get to look up at the moon where they once went together. I hope it was worth it, John. Written and directed by Can Reeves Gow. I applaud you so much. So much.
to the moon. Original pixel art by Elisa Tanya Gabriela April, Can Gao, and Cecile Posthumus. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Wolf Smutter. That's a funny name. Oh, these are all like usernames or something. I wish my name was Wings. Game Engine Enterbrain. <laughs> RPG Maker. Ruby Game Scripts. Giving credit where credit is due. My god, my god, my dear sweet god, that was... Okay. I can see why you guys wanted me to play that. That was... Wow, that was... That was worth it. Special thanks to my grandfather and family, Freebird, Freebird Games Community, Laura Shingaheri, Mike Catchbaugh, Cecile Posthumus, James Q. Zhang, Jessica M. Vaquez, Edna Seacots, and Robert something or other. I'm so sorry I couldn't read it. A Freebird Games production, www.freebirdgames.com. And now we get to see the lighthouse. It's all boarded up now. Damn. Damn good game. Damn. Here he is. Out with the old life. In with the new life. Thanks. Off you go now. Neil. I still can't believe Johnny wi just willed the house to Lily like that. Damn, buddy. <laughs> Who else was there to give it to? Us? Terrible place for burials, though. If there's a landslide, they'd be swimming with the fishes. Always the optimist, Neil. I'd love you for it. Still a little too soon. Nah, it's never soon enough. Nice new ringtone. Hello, Eva here. We're on our way. New patient, new patient. Let's roll. Damn! Holy shit. No. I thought we were in the memory machine ourselves. Oh, Neil, why are you taking the pills? What, what was that? Episode 1, To the Moon. Check. Huh? What? Eh? What? Say what? Is there suppo is this an episodic game? Do we get to continue this? I would love I would love to see a sequel to this game. What I want to know what's up with Neil and the pills. What was with that red flash there? What was Neil really concealing from us? Who would be our next new patient? How would they mix it up? Wow. You see? That. That is how you make a video game there, people. You take memorable characters, memorable dialogue, some pretty funny pop culture references. You don't have to have pop culture references. In fact, it's kind of more timeless if you don't, but it does give... Audience, I mean, like, I think, uh, what is it? I think Earthbound has a lot of pop culture references. That's why it's kind of hard to for the modern audi audiences to get into it. But I don't know myself. I don't know myself. Um, what else? Uh, memorable characters. Memorable situation. This is a pretty darn unique situation for me, anyway. Having to implant somebody's new desires into their brain while they're near death. That's a fucking interesting concept, my friends. Um, what else? A fantastic ending! You see, I thought it was just gonna be a downer ending of, oh, well, he gets his wish and goes to the moon, but what is it without River? But he does get to have River, and he gets to have her with there because he chose to have her there. She wasn't just there by random. It was Johnny's will that brought her in there because there's no memory of her existing on the, on the web. There's no public domain of her. So Johnny willed her to be in that rocket ship with him when he went to the moon. You see? River was not completely dismissed there. Johnny brought her with him. 
He had her share in his greatest accomplishment of getting to the moon. She was there in his ideal life situation. That is an inspirational ending right there. Yeah, River got deleted from a large period of his life. And yeah, it was a little bit too optimistic. But that's what Johnny wanted. You see, that's not just to go to the moon. It goes to show that... He didn't just want to go to the moon. He wanted River to be there. She wasn't just there for the weird factor, or wasn't just there because he wanted to be out of the ordinary. He didn't want to just be typical, all that. No, 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 no. If he actually had that much resentment for her, and if he actually just wanted her there because she was weird and he wanted to do something crazy, he's already done it. He's already gone to NASA. He's going to the moon, okay? But it's that she was there, and she was still flawed. Isabella Nicholas confirmed that, that she still had her condition, because they're like, I wasn't sure if she was going to make it and all that. So it goes to show that Johnny wanted her there for the complete person that she was. He didn't just cut out the, 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 the mental strangeness that she had. He didn't just refine her down to a new person who she wouldn't have been River. He kept her how she was, and he kept her with him, even in his last moments. That, that is a fucking good ending. That is a fucking good game right there. And you know what's even a bigger sign of its success? I want to see more. I want to know what other things could they bring to us. Freebird Games. Give me more! I think this game is maybe like two years old or something. I can't remember how old it is. I think it's it's definitely not new. I'm going to have to check that out now to see if they put out anything else like this. I really hope they did. I get the impression that this game was a pretty good success. It 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 seems very highly rated. It's, everybody that I've talked to who's played this game really likes it. And I can see why. Holy shit. But now I want to know what's going on with Neil. I want to see how Rosaline is going to be affected by what's going on with Neil. I want to see more of these characters. I want to see more of the storyline. I want to see more to the moon. Wow. Oh my god. That's... Wow. Why the fuck didn't I play this sooner? Damn. That brought in a lot of questions of reality versus fantasy. Fantasy versus what is acceptable what is morality my god i can see how people would cry at that ending that is so sweet wow it had some mind fuck moments with that whole watts trying to stop rosaline thing that was awesome just the whack-a-mole mini game was in there for like no reason but they put it in there because why the fuck not that was great i love that touch the interactions between Child uh, River and Child John were very nice when they're like, I always thought it was lighthouses and all that. That was that was beautifully sweet. Because she did come out of her shell a little bit, and that was good. That was very good. She probably thinks he's the strange one because he doesn't remember her. <laughs> that's, that's probably why she was so like, Hey, aren't we already kind of together kind of thing? You gave me this platypus that I value so much that I'm going to carry it with me throughout my whole life. Wow. Damn. What else can I say? To the moon. Two humongous thumbs up to you. Ugh. That's, that's emotionally draining right there, but in a good way. Oof. It's like after you ate a big meal and you sat down and you're like, wow, that's really going to give me some energy later on, but I just feel like laying back right now and absorbing what I just took in. Wow. It had some immature jokes. It had swearing. It had uncensored swearing, which was good. It was kind of odd how at times they censored the swearing and other times they didn't. But again, I, I think if they had sworn constantly, it might have gotten rid of some of the charm. Like... When they, when they swear and it's just like dollar sign, uh, number sign, exclamation point, parentheses. I know exactly what they're saying without it actually having to go out. And when they do swear, it makes it that much more emphatic. 
So, where do we go from here? Well, I could definitely see playing more games like this, where it has a strong narrative. This game definitely had a more of an emphasis on the story than the actual gameplay. The gameplay was near non-existent, to be honest. I mean, yeah, there was the whackable thing, and there was the whole, like, shooting plants. That was original, though. You see, when it does have gameplay, that's really good. And, to be honest, I would... I actually prefer this. I mean, there's plenty of games out there that have a lot of great gameplay, but every once in a while, you need to sit down and play a game that is just a story. Okay? A story, I mean, maybe maybe not like a, hmm, let me just try to think of another one. There's like, it's just like a point, this is basically a point and click game. It's a point and click game, but without the puzzle solving. But a strong story that you can still, well, it has basic puzzle solving, but. And I'm, st I'm amazed that I did so well with that, uh, the paper folding thing. That was great. I think I only messed up like twice out of like ten things that I had to switch around. Oy, oy, oy. That was definitely, a, that was a longer game than I anticipated. Maybe because I sat around and, you know thought a whole bunch um, but yeah what else can I say about that jeez huh I hope this I hope this playthrough satisfied you guys to show that I can have more emotions than just goofiness and rage although I did have some rage there and I did show off a little bit of my deducting powers I was even I was impressed by that I mean and I'm sorry by the way I here's the thing I hate when people can guess the ending to something that's why I usually don't guess that's why I don't ask like, for birthday or Christmas presents or whatever, just like, give me something. I don't want to think about what it is, I don't want to predict what it is, I just want to get something, experience it, and there you go. But I'm sorry, in this case, I had to project my own feelings because I didn't know what was going to be coming. And I'm shocked, I am shocked that I was even close, not... So I'm sorry if I predicted it and you're just like, what the fuck, how did, how did he predict that? I honestly have no clue. And I'm sorry if it ruined some of that for you, but that just made it all the more shocking to me. It's like, no way, they're not going to go with this. Oh my god, they fucking went with it. Oh my god! Ugh. Shock, displeasure, redemption, and just so many emotions there. I mean, I was shocked that they killed off Joey. I was shocked at that. I was shocked there was even a Joey. And then you get Eva going, oh, well, you know, he obviously wants to go to the moon. We're legally obligated, even though not a single soul would know. Although probably they're being monitored. You know, they're probably being, this whole thing is probably being recorded on some kind of memory transferring device to go to their company to show that they're not fucking somebody's memories up just for the giggles, you know. Um, somebody's got to monitor the monitor moderators. And then uh, I was so angry at her for getting rid of River and just dismissing her. And then the redemption came when River came back. Eva didn't want to do it. She she didn't have to bring River back into the picture. Johnny probably wouldn't even have known. Well, she probably could have forced him not to know, but whatever. She redeemed herself right there by bringing, or hoping that River would come back. She didn't out and out, that's something that I should note. She did not out and out delete River, not at all. She just moved her aside so that Johnny would have room to expand his own interests and personality instead of being confined just to River. If anything, he encountered River a little too much when he was... It's like... Hmm... I don't know, it's just like eating too much all at once before dinner, before you actually can say, okay, now's the time to sit down and eat. He jumped into a relationship a little bit too early and that prevented him from going on to pursue his career. He didn't want to pursue his career because he already had what he wanted. So, in a way, this was not just, he got what he wanted, you should just let him have what he wanted. In a way, it was better that he waited. But again, you're bringing up questions of which is better, fantasy or reality. Is it better for him to have completely missed out on those years with River? All that time that he had with her? Or, I don't, that, you see, even now at the ending, you can bring up some pretty deep questions about this. You can bring up some pretty deep speculation. And I like that. I like that it didn't just give you a solid, here's the ending, that's the best of all best worlds. Because it may not be. I mean, sure, it's a happier one, but you're still, I don't know. It's, ugh. 
You see, it's so interesting. Anyway, guys, I hope this was up to your expectations. It certainly, it certainly went above and beyond my expectations. I mean, when people said, oh, this is emotional, I thought it was just going to end with, like, a death or something like that. Or I thought the emotional part, once River got deleted, I was like, oh, well, everybody's crying because River got deleted. But no, you're crying because, in the end, they still got to be together, and they got to both share in the experience of going to the moon. That is a sweet, emotionally validating ending right there. And I like that. They didn't just cop out and go, oh, there's a death, it's sad, boo-hoo. No, not at all. In the end, he loved, he loved that girl so much that, that he kept her in the best of all possible worlds. And that is something to admire. So, everybody, this is the end for now. But I'll tell you one thing, if Freebird Games ever, 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 ever puts out a sequel to To The Moon, or if they have, I'm gonna go look it up right now, as soon as I'm done recording this, if they ever put out a sequel, I really hope so. I will play that in a heartbeat, no questions whatsoever. I wanna see more. I am so driven now. <sighs> but for now, episode one completed. This better not be like some Half-Life 2 bullshit where I have to wait seven years for this to come out. Or eight years, or whatever the hell frickin' Half-Life is at now. Anyway. So, guys. Thank you for giving me the, the experience of this game. I mean, I would have played it. But I don't think if I had... If I had just played it on my own, I wouldn't have had time to, like... Because when I was voicing all the things, it really gave me time to internalize and connect with these characters, because I had to make voices for them, I had to really understand what was going on, I didn't just skim over things, because when you're on your own, you're just clicking, click, 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 click. You know, you tend to forget things, but I'm glad that I recorded this, because it allowed me to remember more of what happened, and I didn't just gloss over certain things, and it really made me sit down and reflect on it more than I would have if I had just sat down and played it on my own. Damn. So thank you for let for having me record this. Thank you so much. I should do more things like this where it's a strong story narrative that's emotional. I should record it so that I can internalize it more. Ha, huh, man. But anyway, guys, for now, this is the end. This has been To the Moon, and I've been your commentator, the Invisible Gunslinger, and I hope that you'll join me in the next project. So until then, everybody, I will bid you adieu, and I wish you the best of all possible realities. Ta-ta for now. Bye-bye.